Hello and welcome to today's LOL Esports video. We're going to look at the youngest players that are set up to play for one of the four major regions in 2023, as of now in spring. Um, I originally had 2001, like my other board is completely full of players, um, but 2001 would not have fit. So we have people that are 20 years old by the end of this year. There are some players that still haven't had their birthday yet, but 20, 19, 18, and 17. Yes, there are two 17-year-olds. Actually, I'm going to move a bit, looking at the screen below me, um, going into uh, this year that are going to start. So it's definitely something to think about. And the way I view this, at 22 years old, 21, 22 years old, you're kind of hitting your prime with your hands. Your hands aren't going to get any better. And um, you're going to start learning more matchups, playing more um playing more matchups you know just being in different situations right it just makes too much sense more game time more opportunities and uh if you'll just get better with time if you can put two and two together right um so um just one second sorry about that i just had to double check and make sure the bottom of this board is showing up on the camera um so you know, 20 year olds, there's a lot of notable players on here and some players that have been written off. And the way I'm viewing this is anybody on this board should not be written off. Not all of them are created equally, but I believe they should not be written off, especially this side going towards this way. Some of these players have two, three, you know, years in um, major play. And they should be getting better over time. We should see growth. That is important. But also we have to keep in mind as well, players that may have just been stuck in bad situations now getting a fresh start and have an opportunity to finally be developed properly, right? So um, 2002 in top lane, Zhao Hao, Bin, Zhao Lao Hu, Fearness, Cube, King Tian, and ZS in the LPL. So that's one, two, three. That's seven of the top laners in the LPL that are 20 years old going into this year. And the only other 20 year old top laner is Fudge. So uh, that's something to think about that Fudge is actually as old as Ben um, and still very young and has many years ahead of them. Players in top lane are playing till their late 20s as league continues to develop and, and we see players just, you know, their careers continue to go impact. Heck, even a player like Vizichachi found an ERL team this year at 30 years old. 19-year-olds, um, Nenny from IG, Zika for LNG, who formerly was playing for IG, Birdall, who's going to play for Sandbox, DNDN, and Tenacity, so DNDN for Nongshim, Tenacity for 100 Thieves, all are 19 years old. By the way, I should specify Zhao Hao, anyone's legend. Oh, why did I put Zhao Hao up there? He's supposed to be here. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Um, a jungler. And I will really actually fix it right now and not edit this out. I don't like editing my content. I know I've already split this video just to get that second where I was looking at the screen off the off the video, but um, so Zhao Hao is a jungler, but Bin, who's going to play for BLG, Zhao Lao Hu and Fearness, the two top laners for FPX, Cube for Rare Adam, King Tian, the backup for top uh, esports, and uh, ZS for uh, uh, Ultra Prime, if he plays, and Fudge for C9. 2004, so these are the two youngest um, top laners going into next year. Uh, Zeus, yeah, Zeus is that young, so he is there, he's only 18 years old, and he is already, in some people's eyes, the best top laner in the world, that is pretty insane, YSKM, from the PCS, who's been signed to play for IG, also 18 years old, last year, was one of the most electric players in the PCS, um, more than one solo kill per game in the top lane, so, um, IG, Nenny, and YSKM are going to be battling for the same spot. In the jungle, we have a lot of 20-year-old junglers. June for BLG, Layan for Rare Adam, Wei, RNG, Markoon for SK Gaming, 
Bo for Vitality, Young Jay, who was formerly Gen G sub, now starting for the uh, Kwangdong Freaks, Sylvie coming up from Challengers for Nongshim Red Force, Owner from T1, 20 years old, Inspired for EG, 20 years old, Kenvi for Immortals, and Zhaohao, like we've said for anyone's legend. So, um, a lot of 20 year old junglers, a lot of big names on there. Way, Inspired, Owner, Bo, like all these guys considered in high regard. Very young still with a lot of career ahead of them. Um, 19 year olds, uh, Heoi or Howie, uh, I don't know how it's going to be pronounced. I kind of got to listen to a, uh, um, a uh, shoutcaster or uh, a play-by-play go over his name in English. But um, FPX is a uh, jungler for this year, 19 years old. Gideon, I believe IG's uh, jungler. Well, we'll be battling for IG's jungle spot this year. And then Willer for Sandbox, who's played for HLE for the last couple of years and is here. So really two years ago, he was in this window where we don't even, you don't even have a top laner or jungler going into this year that are born in 2005. So that just kind of shows where Willer was a year and a half ago when he even got that opportunity to begin with, with HLE. A lot of people want to write him up and say he stinks, but the fact of the matter is, literally, there are only four players younger than him in the four major regions right now in his role. Like, there is room for growth. He's on a new team now. Maybe he needed that. Um, the youngest players... Climber for Victory 5, going to be battling with Zhao Lao Bao. 1-1-3 with Astralis, who limited stats, not very good, but he's super young. So uh, there's room there to get better. Uh, Raptor for Fred Brian brought up to play. And Tianjin is going to be battling with Gideon for IG's um, jungle role. So uh, a bunch of young junglers there to look at and uh, no 17-year-olds. Mid lane, we have Strive from Rare Adam. King, who's going to be playing for um, Ultra Prime in mid. Vathio, that's a notable name, right? Vathio for Excel, young player. Nuke, formerly known as Nuclear Int, going to be playing for BDS. Zeka, which we all know uh, from DRX, now with HLE. Um, why do I have Yeon in there? Damn it, that's another mistake. It's because Harry is from 2001 and I had him on the board again screwed up he's supposed to be there i'm not even going to have the space to put him i probably shouldn't have erased it um and yukai for lng formerly from ig so that the and, and zeka two young players there that are um you know 20 years old right now yeah i'm recording I'm just all over the place right now with this video. Um, earlier today, I uploaded my LCK tier list. Um, so there was that, that little plug. 2003, 19 year old. So these players were 18 last year. Kareem for, from OMG. Dajor, Astralis, Karas, who's playing for Freda Brian, was with HLE last year. Closer for Live Sandbox. Fiesta coming up for Nongshim. Diplex, who's going to make his debut for Cloud9 this year, and Vikla, who went from KT to FlyQuest. So there are a lot of big names there. Kareem, Dajor, Closer, Vikla. I mean, there are players there with a lot of potential that we need to give a longer leash to. I feel like everybody on this board deserves that. Like, there are so many people that, like, play solo queue that don't have the hands, like, in one hand that these guys have in, like... It's just unbelievable. Like, honestly, these guys could play better than the people that criticize them with one hand. Like, it, it's outrageous. So, these guys just get better with time. Um, you know, or, or not. Or they don't get developed properly. It's kind of coming down to development. Um, that's why I'm saying I think they need a longer leash to allow for development. To clarify my statement. Because I do criticize them as well. Um, 2004, 18-year-olds, Fisher. EDG, splitting time with Fofo. Care for FPX, who played last year with FPX in a, as a debut. In this window here, you don't see many players in this window, do you? So Care coming into another year, a lot of opportunity to take a next step. 
as well as Jojo Pune, who we all know um, from the LCS, a very young mid laner. There aren't only Bulldog is younger than he is um, in terms of years. I mean, I don't have the birthdays here in order for Fisher Care, Jojo Pune, but you get my point. Um, Bulldog is 17 years old, and the Freaks are going with him in mid lane. It's definitely a, a bold strategy. Um, bold strategy to say the very least. Um, I mean, he looked good in summer. I believe his stats look good. If I recall my freaks, uh, roundup portion when he was signed. So, um, 17 years old though, a lot of room for mistakes in my opinion. I hope fans do the same, but I doubt they will. Cause usually fans are, you know, oblivious. Bot lane. So the bot laners, Fodic, Victory 5, Karzi for Mad Lions, played with Vitality, Yeon, like I said, Team Liquid, um, Taeyoon, who played for DRX um, a year and a half ago, so way over here, is now um, going to start for the Freaks, Vital coming up for Nongshin, played with Sengoku Gaming last year in Japan, Guma Yushi, we all know who Guma is, and Leave, who's going to be playing for EDG in bot lane, at least assumed to be. Um, because Gala, I, I think, is going to end up soon with RNG. So, Fodic, Karzi, Guma, there are three names there we know that are 20 years old. A couple younger um, AD carries. Asum for LGD. Doggo, who's going to be playing for LNG. So, Doggo, formerly of BLG, a, a good player in the PCS, is still extremely young. A lot of people writing him off. There's a lot of potential there. Exakick making his debut for SK. Not a lot of rookies on here, right? Nongshim, obviously, is completely rookies. Um, but really, think about it. A lot of these players have played a split or two. Exakick has not. So, he is a 2003. And then Berserker for C9, a 2003 as well. We do not have any 2004s. So, literally, there is over an, a year gap between these guys and then pays who is expected to try and replace ruler in the bot lane for gen g literally like the big issues to try and fill in the world um you know i guess like whoever had to replace uzi gala or whoever like they had to deal with that but like this is something this is this is really something it's a massive massive ordeal so uh, we'll see if pays can get it done but pays is all the way over here a very very young player um, and I hope that they all do well. I hope all players develop and do well. Um, but only one team can win, right? Support MRSA for um, MRSA for Heretics. LeBrav for BDS. Delight going to be alongside Pays for Gen G. Moham for uh, the Freaks. And then Caria for T1. So we all know Caria. Caria is on this list. Um, 2003, so 19 years old. We have An, who played for Weibo, now playing for BLG. Hung, who played for FPX, now with LNG. Peter, with Nongshim. And Busio, making his debut for 100 Thieves in the 19-year-old slot. And then only one 2004, and that's Cal. So not a lot of supports here. Um, it's actually, looking at it now, out, I mean, AD carry and support are the two uh, least prevalent roles at these young ages, uh, more so it's uh, solo laners and junglers, which is something interesting to think about, but I thought this was going to be something interesting to do. Um, kind of gives you new perspective. I feel like it should give you perspective on these players and where they're at in their careers that like you think about a player like, um, oh, geez, let's think here. So, uh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to like, you know, use an example here. A good example of a, like, heck, you could look at um, Guma and Leave. Guma's been up for a year or two now, more so than that. And Leave is just coming up. Like, but they're both the same age. And, the, and, and sometimes at 20 years old is when you finally get your opportunity. But it's kind of interesting to think like Ben. Ben's been a household name for a couple years now. Alongside Fearness. Who nobody probably really knows like but they're the same age and they're both you know in a in a, in, in situations that are kind of sus so i mean we'll see what blg does this year um my lpl tier list will come out in the next couple days but that's it for this video if you liked it like it subscribe to the channel for daily league of legends content hit the notification bell i'm doing double uploads for the next month until uh league starts 
There is going to be double uploads, triple uploads, trying to get content out. Um, this is an interesting video I wanted to do. I'm going to do one for older players as well. I'm going to title it Over the Hill. So if you want to watch that, that'll be on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, become a YouTube member, and thank you for watching.